opening day of West River Rifle 2021, also known as Orange Army Weekend. Already seen a couple vehicles go by, one of which looked like it wanted to park where I parked. But you know what? You gotta get up early. First, early bird gets the worm. I got the boss with me today. See if she can can hang. Think he can hang? Yeah, we'll see. We're after mule deer. There's probably not a whole lot of white tail. I got an any deer tag, so I'm not gonna be super picky. So I probably got just about this weekend is all. So see how it goes. Did you get him? Oh, Did you really? Oh, oh down the hill. Whew. 
Are, are you sure? I saw him tumble. Well, that happened quick. That was real quick. Just see him start running. I didn't think you got him at first. I was about to range him. Took off. That happened really, really quick. Came over the hill, saw them. I knew they were in range, I just didn't know exactly what it was. A lot closer than I thought. Um, I was about to range him, and the doe took off. I don't know if Candace got it on film. You gotta give her a break, she's a rookie. She didn't wanna mess up the hunt, which I appreciate. Um, the good news is I smoked it. I don't know how good he is. I know he's decent, but there is a pile, pile of deer in here. I'm gonna look and make sure he's not with them, just in case. He started getting wobbly, he tumbled over that hill, which is pretty easy to get to. I would like to have that one recording. What? Oh, that's pretty easy to get to. Yeah, it is recording still. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of deer in here. And I think he was the best one. I'm not 100% sure it was quick. But it was fun. Why is it pointing so far down? Look at me. I'm up here. This is what people want to see. That's right, sorry. Okay, go ahead and speak. Shot him right in here somewhere. Got our first blood, so... I'm glad there's blood, because rifles don't always leave blood trail. But as you can see, he can kind of go anywhere in here. So we're going to keep ready, just in case he's still kicking. But hoping he's dead right over the hill. Let's go find out. to be my best melee I've shot so um, actually I'm about 100% confident of that didn't get a good look at him I, I looked at him this morning in the dark I knew he was a one to go after that truck came bombing in on the private and pushed them all where I didn't want him to go but um, I convinced Candace to go across the uh, little hell hole there and she followed me and we made it and I think we got here just in time because they were standing right on top just waiting for it so now the fun begins this is uh gonna be interesting time to go yeah <laughs> i'm gonna piss some people off who send a picture of it really far away and not don't worry travis i'll send you one as soon as possible <laughs> You got, you got, I, you busted me being a dick. <laughs> Sorry. So is this why I don't hear from you for like two hours after you shoot something? Well, yeah, because there's, we got three bars of service here, but normally there's no service. Okay. Woo! That is a good buck. 
I'm not 100% sure if Candace got it on film. It's kind of a quick deal. In the Badlands, they just kind of pop in and out of these big holes, and if you got a shot, you got to take it. But like we've said before, we're not doing it for the likes and follows. We're doing it because we love it. So pretty stoked about this buck. This is 100% my biggest mule deer. Got to spend it with the old boss lady, the wife. She now knows probably why I'm so hard to get a hold of when I'm out here. If I'm chasing a deer, I'm not answering my phone. Unless somebody's dying, then we might talk. But it's cool that she got to be here with me to get another taxidermy bill. We got room in the house for this? Yeah, in our room. <laughs> Perfect. Now she gets to see what the real fun part is, the part that gets it to your table. So we'll get some good pictures and um, let the fun begin. Well, the fun part's over. I'm not 100% certain I'm even gonna be able to get up, so we're gonna record it so y'all can laugh at me. Candace has the cape. She's helping out. The rest is on me. Uh-oh. There it is. We got part of it done. Oh, good thing I work out, not. Zane, would you rather pull them out of water? Yes, because the truck's right over there. We're on our way. It's a lot of weight down this little canyon. Here we go. This is what makes it all worth it when you start eating it at the table and you remember suffering. Well, we've made it over halfway, I think. Now we got one big giant climb to go before we get to the flat top. So, I'm gonna start leapfrogging the meat because it's getting real heavy. And I'm weak and thirsty and hot and tired, but it's fun. It's all worth it. Onward and upward. I'm not really sure what mile I'm at, but the end of this hellhole is up there. So, we're just still, I'm leapfrogging. I got two bags of meat. This is the heavy one, two fronts and all the all the goodies. So Anna's kept on trucking. I'm just gonna catch up with her. So here it goes. Get her up the hill. Last pit stop before climbing the old cliff out of hell. It's one of those times where you seriously regret bringing a spotter, even though I did use it and it did tell me that was a worth a buck worth going after so I guess I can't complain but sometimes you just got to suffer to earn it Candace is all the way she just kept on going when I turned around she's up there somewhere you can't see but she's not used to this so she's tired but she's made it with me this whole time and we're just about to the top we still got a long ways to go to the truck after that but it's all flat so most of it's road, so getting there. Well, made it back to the truck um, after telling Candace it's only a mile, like seven more times, seven times. Uh, I was total, we went seven, seven point something miles for that was packing. Now I just got it just right over the hill here, a steep hill. And I'm gonna go get that up to the top of the hill and then we're moving on. We're gonna have a little seeker. Cause I need some energy. So take a little bit of that, take a little bit of break and go get the rest of it out. Go home, go to bed. Do you still hate me? Just a little. If we go over this hill and the truck's not there, I'm killing you. Came out of her mouth. <laughs> So, but it was there, and you're not dead. I'm not so. dead. That was the one time I said only a little bit left, and it was true.
everything was officially in the pickup. And our day is done. I'm not ready to go home yet. We're gonna sit here and count the trucks that go by. There's a lot, a lot of people here. There's uh, four campers. One, two, three. Uh, there's like 10 trucks down below here. So um, I'm glad we got it done when we did. The wind is also blowing like 1,000 miles per hour and I had to walk into it. So, Jeff, fun? Mm hmm. So if I ever say it's just a mile hike, are you going to go with me again? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Just assume it's seven. So we yeah. went seven total miles and four of it was packing. So she did pretty good for her uh, first outing. Didn't you? Well, we've been out before, but this Not is like the this. first time that we've... This is different than the hills. ...done something stupid like that. All right. Well, this is the end of the public land saga. Time to go home, go to bed, until this time tomorrow, over and out.